Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kirsten and this is my first YouTube video. We're playing Genshin today, as you can see. Um, we just started, we just loaded into the world. But um, I know a lot of you guys know about Genshin. It's a really popular game. It started in 2020. And um, it's either people really love it or people really hate it. All I can say is I've played Genshin before. I played it when it first came out and then I took a long break and I started playing again playing it again and you know now i'm really up to date and everything but uh the graphics are better than what i remember but then again i did start playing this on my phone back then so so i hope you enjoy this youtube video and i hope you stick along for the ride with me so i created this newer account so that not only could i grow in this game and relearn everything that i was taught when i first played but to also grow with the YouTube channel, to see my growth within the YouTube channel. Um, I created this YouTube channel because I've been wanting to have a channel since I was like a kid. Um, and I also want to become a streamer at some point. Um, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Kierce. I go by Mystic Kierce on every platform um, here on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Um, I go by he, they pronouns. I am 20 years old and I have quite a bit of interests. I'm into anything and everything almost. Um, it's a bit of a problem of mine because I can never stay focused on one. But gaming is something I've always liked doing. So here we are. Oh, we don't have the glider yet. I forgot about that. Um, I created a poll on TikTok earlier today um, asking, you know, not only to grow my TikTok as well and gain a little bit of followers, but asking what games should be my first. I forgot how annoying, I forgot how annoying her voice is. Um, not only to grow that TikTok and gain some followers, but to also ask, you know, what game should I play as my first video? Considering um, I do have the games Genshin, Star Rail, Minecraft, and The Sims 4, which those four games are what's going to be, you know, circulating around my channel. But uh, a lot of people did choose Genshin. Again, it is a popular game. There was one person who said Minecraft because they hate Star Rail and Genshin. Um, and as I said before, this game, you know... It's either they love it or they hate it. Um, I don't really know any reasons as to why someone would hate the game. Uh, there are some annoying factors. Hmm. But I genuinely love this game. This game is really nice. As for my goals on this channel, um, honestly, my biggest goal for this channel is to just grow a community of people that share the same interests I do that like the same games I do, that I can, you know, become, become friends with people um, over time and play games together. And, you know, I'm not going to be a big gaming YouTuber like Corey Kenshin or anything, but, you know, this gives me something to do while I'm home. This channel... Oh, I don't want to talk over Paimon. Yeah, for this channel, um, we're going to be playing a lot of Genshin, and we're also going to be playing a lot of Star Rail. I just recently got into Star Rail, so, you know, it'll still be a little introductory for me and you guys. That'll be like an authentic experience. Um, and since my account on there is still pretty new, I don't have to create a new one or anything. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of Genshin on this account. If I play Minecraft... When I play Minecraft, I normally really just like uh, building. It's really hard for me to do survival and stuff and like stay interested because it, it gets repetitive. Ooh, at some point. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, yo. Okay. But uh, 
when I play Minecraft, it, it'll probably mostly just be building. Um, and when I play The Sims, it'll probably mostly be in cast, create a sim. I don't hope to grow big on this channel, by the way. I kind of just want, like, again, like I said, a small community of people that share the same interests I do. Um, you know, this gives me something to do at home since I'm home alone quite a lot quite often if i'm not at work i'm home doing absolutely nothing and i do work night shifts so if i do start streaming it'll probably be after my shifts are over by like 9 10 11 p.m um so you know like the streams will probably be at like midnight or somewhere late at night because it's hard for me to even get up in the morning videos may be like recorded in the morning like youtube videos but as for streams you know <laughs> it's it's gonna be a lot of talking this video is also practice for me to talk to myself because i don't normally talk to myself like that um i tend to like it, it tends to get really messy with my words because i don't talk very often and it's like i have my own little word bank in my head so uh this video is not only my first video but practice um, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of this video, uh, mostly because, you know, a lot of people already know what goes on. It's not going to be anything unique, but also like, you know, when the characters are talking, I won't be talking as much. So, um, I'm going to do a little bit of exploring just to get it out of the way. I know there are some chests somewhere. Press escape. Oh, my keyboard's a little iffy. Oh. I do have favorite characters. I'm gonna do that later. I do have favorite characters in this game. Um, I love the Traveler. I love the Traveler a lot, actually. It's kind of concerning, um, especially Aether, the one I'm playing now. Um, I also really love Zhao. I have Zhao on my main account. Um, I really want Sino. I love Tainari. Like I said, I've played this game since it practically came out. So I know a lot and I know a lot of the characters. So anything I do here, it's not going to be very new to me. Um, oh. None of the game will be new to you, new to me personally, since I've played it for a while. Um, and I have like a couple of accounts. Um, so you won't get like newbie type content from me with this game. The most you'll get is like me like fanboying over some of the characters. Because, you know, that never gets old. They they still look good. Alright. About my mic and stuff. I did buy this mic, like, quickly. Like, I, you know... Let's see how many times I can say like in one video. That's crazy. Um... I thought about the idea to really start streaming and making YouTube videos just a couple of days ago. It has always been a dream of mine to make a YouTube video or make a YouTube channel. I've tried making YouTube videos before when I was younger. I think at like 12, I tried doing like singing covers or whatever. Um, and then as I got older, I did like um, K-pop easy lyrics. Um, I even tried vlogging. Vlogging never works for me though because I I'm such an irregular person when it comes to my life and it's just like nothing's ever going to be the same and you know I tried doing it to set up a routine for myself and that didn't happen. So you know, it's 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 kind of hard to really do the vlogging thing. 
maybe when I get more comfortable in front of a camera or have like an actual camera to vlog because I know with my phone it was just it wasn't working out well so now that I have this idea and I have the like equipment for it like I'm using my gaming laptop to make this video right now and you know I'm glad that I have this gaming laptop like I I was gifted this laptop and now that I have the resources to actually like make a YouTube channel and record videos and talk to people and you know have something to do other than sit around at home doing nothing it, it kind of just makes me a little bit happier because I'm finally doing something I've wanted to do for a while besides you know writing books I, I've already started that process but you know we're not going to play for a very long time. It is pretty late at night. Um, I kind of just started recording this video on a whim because I got this mic for 10 bucks. I was talking about the mic earlier. Another thing about me, I'm going to switch topics a lot and I'm going to forget what I was talking about. But uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I thought up of the idea to finally create my YouTube channel and start gaming and, you know, wanting to stream just a couple of days ago. And... Uh, you know, last night I bought this, not last night, but um, Thursday night, today's Saturday. Well, it's Sunday now because it's like 12 in the morning. But Thursday night I had 18 bucks in my account and I was like, you know what? Let me buy the cheapest mic I can just to start making videos because why not, you know? And this mic was like 10 bucks. It came pretty fast. I hope it sounds okay. Um, I've tested it out. I've played back the video I made. You know, I. it sounds okay to me, but again, I'm not pretty well versed on like what professional sounds like. So it sounds fine to me. I've also ordered like a, a extra USB space like that whole cord and box thing i've also ordered an hdmi cord because i want to get a second monitor second hand um from like a thrift store or something so you know this is just i feel like this will actually get me to get up and do something every day instead of laying around like i usually do um and it actually make me happy you know I'm probably going to suck at commentary a lot only because it's hard for me to really talk to myself. I usually do that in my own head, not out loud. <laughs> and, you know, uh, it's not easy for me to generate opinions as quickly as others. So this will be something very new, but, you know, I hope I'm not too much of a burden with this whole thing. It's embarrassing to think that, like, my friends are about to watch this video or are probably watching this video right now and listening to me just ran ramble about stupid shit. Oop. <laughs> stupid stuff. Um, that was interesting. I'm trying not to curse right now. But I promise you, if I get any comments from any of them about how awkward I sound they're getting blocked immediately. I used to like watch people, I still kind of do this, but I used to like watch people um, play Genshin for the first time and it would kind of like irritate me when they didn't like immediately go like follow the storyline because you know, that's what I did when I first started. And then now I'm like doing the one thing that like really aggravated me and i think that's so funny i think that's so funny um and i try not to be a hypocrite i really hate hypocrites mostly because i have like a bad background with hypocrites but it's just so funny how i'm like during videos i'm watching videos and i'm like can you guys like just go to where you're supposed to go and then here i am not doing it but i think it's just because like they're newer to the game and they're just taking like a lot of time just like talking and exploring and they're not cutting anything out 
and it, it, it just kind of like it seems repetitive because I've already gone through this. I feel like if they were playing this again, like for the second time, I wouldn't be as annoyed. But I get it when um, new new players want to like explore their surroundings and not miss anything. That's understandable. I remember not liking Amber when I first played the game. And I really could not tell you why. Like, I... There was something about Amber that just really was not appealing to me in any way. Um, I thought she was annoying at first, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, I She's still not my favorite. She's not one of my favorite characters, but she's she's useful. I think it's also because I, I don't know how to use bow characters. Like I only ever whip out a bow character when I need to use a bow for something. And uh, something about Amber's character, it's, she was probably the reason why I just don't like bow characters now because I, I couldn't understand how to use the bow or anything when I first played. And again, when I first played, it was when the game first got introduced. It just came out and I had it on my phone on a small screen. So that's probably why I feel like I'm more, um, I'm better at using bow characters now than I was before. I they're just still not my preferred choice. And I don't know how to build them correctly. Like I feel like building them is probably a lot different than building like any other regular character that uses like a claymore or a sword or stuff like that. So what I'm using right now to uh, play is this cheap mechanical keyboard I got from FYE like a year ago. Um, some random Bluetooth mouse that I got a while ago as well. Uh, a $10 mic that probably does not sound as good as other mics do. And I probably sound terrible right now, like just in general, because I don't know how to film a video and I don't know how to talk. So I think we're going to do a lot of exploring in Genshin though, like a lot of exploring, um, a lot of character quests that I normally just don't do when I play Genshin because they're just so boring and I, I want to play Genshin to actually do something, which is probably why I created this whole new account because I feel like there was just nothing to do in my main account right now, so. Hey, you. Stop right there. He looks so, why does he look like that? He looks like, yo, who is this girl right now? When I think about this interaction, I also think about like the, the Knights of Favonius handbook and the fact that you, you shouldn't be talking to a new person like that. <laughs> and Amber just completely just like disregarded that. That's crazy to think about sometimes. I promise you it isn't. Another thing about me is I like to cosplay. I do have a cosplay account on TikTok um, that I started back in like 2019, 2020, before Genshin came out, I'm pretty sure. Um, while I was still in school as like a, what's the word? It, it, it took me out of where I was in the moment. Like I did not feel like I was in the real world and that was like my safe haven. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, I think the sensitivity on here is too. So suspicious travelers. What are you doing in Mondstadt? But yeah, I cosplay. Um and I haven't cosplayed a lot of characters, honestly. Mostly because I stop quite often because life is lifing a lot. Quite a lot, honestly. Uh ooh. But recently I've cosplayed Toji, I tried cosplaying Beto, and honestly, 
when I get a webcam, if I do like videos with my webcam and when I stream with my webcam, you'll probably see me in cosplay from time to time. Mostly because I cosplay at night and I'll probably be making videos slash streaming after the cosplay, depending on the day. Depending on the day. All right. Uh, I do want to cosplay Shinha and Aether and ooh, who else? Ridesley and Nivellet and all those great characters. Um, but costumes cost a lot. Like, my first cosplay costume was Beto. <laughs> After, like, four or five years of cosplaying on and off, it's like, wow, Beto was your first... Beto was your first cosplay costume? Yeah, and she costed 80 bucks, and I, I bought the costume with birthday money. Like, I was not spending $80 on a whim. I was spending my birthday money because I deserved it. Doesn't this need like... Um, but I have a stable job now and I think I can start like saving every now and then for a cosplay costume. Um, I think I will stick to like closet cosplays for a while though. Just because it's like, you know, affordable. I already have the clothes. I think I'm going to try to build my characters as much as possible in the early, early game. Only because I know how important it is to build my character. But for farming, I think... I almost missed that. I think for farming, I'm going to wait till after AR40. Like, they recommend. Because then, like... Um, that's when things get serious. I think I'll reach AR 40 a lot faster though. Now that, uh, Ooh, now that, uh, there's a lot to explore and a lot to do. I also feel like they add like quite a bit of stuff in the places you've already explored after they update, like. I feel like I've explored Mondstadt quite a lot, and then after every update, when I go and do stuff to explore again in the same area, there's a chest that was pretty obvious, and I'm just like, that chest was not there before. Like, where did it come from? I think I'm gonna think of this as episodes um so like this would be episode one even though it's my first youtube video but like probably like a good 10 episodes before we get into like other content just of like me like exploring and you know starting up this new genshin account because there's a lot to do uh and i want to have motivation to do it all so i'm gonna think of this as episode one of like 10 or like 15. I don't want to do too many episodes because you guys are going to get bored and I'm going to get bored and I'm not going to set that unrealistic goal for myself. What I know is just going to be tiring and I'm probably not going to get up and do it. So, but, um, I'll stop this when I feel like we're on good standing. Like maybe after we do the temples. Probably not. I feel like that's a little too far. Palmon reminds me of a Taurus. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if she was. <laughs> I really wouldn't be surprised. But I love Tauruses, so I'm not complaining. Alright, if you've made it this far into the video, uh, let me know which platform you came from. 
like how did you find out about this video did it just show up on your youtube feed did you come from TikTok? did you come from twitter instagram where did you come from and how did you find the video i know not a lot of people are not going to get to this part of the video but you know it's fun to ask give someone some entertaining stuff to do I'm going to be zooming through some of this because these characters do talk a lot. I feel like later on when we get into the more serious stuff, I'm probably going to have to like read a bit more because I skip a lot of the stuff in my main account. So if I was confused about it in my main account, I'm probably going to have to like actually read and listen through here in this account. Bro, I love going after Timmy's birds. I feel like everyone does, and if you don't, you're weird. Oh, I only got one. And a second one. All right, I'm going to stop here for the night only because I have stuff to do, like cleaning tonight. And this was only supposed to be like a quick little introductory video um, and me familiarizing myself with this whole setup and everything. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you made it this far to the end, um, I want you to comment who your favorite character is in Genshin. And if this is your first time even hearing about Genshin, I want you to know that this is going to be an interesting ride all right mostly because there's a lot of stuff that goes into this game that can be very overstimulating especially for me uh and it might interest you if you didn't know about genshin before and this is your first time knowing about genshin i want you to comment if you think you'll like this game like predict this for yourself but if you do know about genshin please let me know what your favorite genshin character is and i'm going to stop the video right here subscribe and like if you want to see more of me in the future and i hope you have a great night or day wherever you are i'll see you guys in the next one